This week on the No More Late Fees podcast, our pod pal Sam from 4 Minutes 2 is back. Woo! And this week, Sam is joining us for The Mummy Returns. But before we dive into this week's episode, we want to catch up with Sam and see what 2001 relics we can unearth in our memory banks. Hi, Sam. Hi. (laughs) How is everybody? Doing Good. well. <laughs> I just have to tell you, every time Danielle talk about our favorite episodes, 13 Ghost is like near the top of my list. And like <laughs> I had so much fun with that episode and Sam and us totally recognizing it's a dumbass movie and not caring at all. And just like, we're here for the ride. Come on, bring it on. <laughs> so no pressure whatsoever for this episode. <laughs> Just a little pressure. If you guys haven't checked out our 13 Ghosts episode or trailer with Sam, you guys should pause this and go check it out. But for the people who are lazy, why don't you tell everybody, Sam, a little bit about your podcast so that uh, they get an idea? Oh, you mean 4 Minutes too? the 4 Minute Geek Pop podcast, giving you all things geek in under four minutes or your money back, which is nothing because that podcast is free and I'm broke. (laughs) Oh, it's just a little podcast. So it is a four minute podcast where I go over anything, all the relevant geek news that are out there, where it be uh, comic books, video games, sci-fi, fantasy, whatever. I go over the relevant geek news on Mondays and starting hopefully next week, Friday, I will be dropping a second episode where I just go over reviews. Like we're going to be talking about Miss Marvel. We're talking about the boys, talking about the comics that came out. And it's just basically a place you can get all your geek news in under four minutes, all your geek information under four minutes. Love it. Who doesn't like bite-sized episodes? I, I think that's great. Also, it's like a geek just, I don't even know what to call it, smorgasbord right now. Oh, I yeah. mean, so we have new episodes of The Boys. We have Miss Marvel. We have Obi Wan. We have Umbrella Academy just dropped new episodes. Stranger Things comes out with new episodes tomorrow. Bayo Max came out, and technically that was based off of a comic book. Ooh, and we yes. love Big Hero Six. So I we're very excited about Six. that. So, yeah, it's just like, I don't want to go out. And we're getting Thor Love and Thunder. <sighs> Looks so sick. I'm so excited for Thor Love and Thunder. I'm excited for so many reasons. (laughs) Every time the trailer comes on, at the end where Natalie Portman shows up as Jane Thor, like, I'm like, look at her arms. Right? (laughs) She worked out a lot. Her arms are huge. But all the fan bros were like, oh my gosh, she didn't even. I'm like, go kill yourself. I'm so... (laughs) Sick of toxic bro comic book dudes right now on the fucking internet. They are just disgusting. It's like, can we have something and you shut the fuck up? Thank right? you. That's my uh, PSA. Shut the fuck up. Back in 2001, I would be clamoring for a Lady Thor. That we would get that deep into comic book movies that we can actually get Lady Thor. Right. So, yeah, no. I'll take what I have. And again, those arms do look sick. Yeah. yeah. 100%. Great job, Natalie. Great job, Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> so, speaking of 2001, I have some challenges for us. So, the first challenge I'm going to give straight to you, Sam, or to do a this or that. I went and dug through the archives to see what was popping in 2001. So Jackie's going to do a this or that with you with some movies, television shows, and music and games. Ready? Sure. Okay. Our first one is Battle of the Songs. Fallen by Alicia Keys or Hanging by a Moment by Lifehouse? Fallen. Sorry. I would lose my New York card if I had said anything else. 100%. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) That was my rendition. Thank you. Excellent job. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. That was my one-time concert. (laughs) (laughs) I can't sing. Whatever. (laughs) TV shows, Sex in the City or Survivor? Confession, I maybe, I want to say a couple years ago, a couple months ago, just watched all of Sex in the City on a goof. So I'm going to say Sex in the City. (laughs) (laughs) It's fair. Okay. Although Carrie mm-hmm. is 
Yeah, I'm not gonna say anything. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> Carrie's a, a garbage human being. Yo, she is. Yo, yes. A hundred percent. And it just doesn't get better. No. no she doesn't get better. <laughs> so our next one is live action movies, Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring, or Harry Potter and the Sor Sorcerer's Stone. Fellowship of the Rings. I love Harry Potter. Uh, I read all of the books. I like, absorbed those books. I devoured those books. Fellowship of the Rings was just so damn beautiful. It was so cool. So many moments. It just great movie. All right, then. Keep your secrets. <laughs> <laughs> and our animated movies, Shrek or Monsters, Inc.? Shrek. Shrek. Mike Myers and Eddie Murphy alone <laughs> make that movie hilarious. Yeah. That's a memeable movie too. Oh, they made fun 100%. of so much stuff. It's amazing. I love that there's a trend going around now about Lord Farquaad hair. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> People getting bad ha haircuts and calling it Lord Farquaad hair. <laughs> I saw someone meme where it was just like, just a reminder that this woman picked a literal old girl over a short guy. <laughs> Damn. Like, it's Dude. true though. I will say maybe a few years ago, I would have said Shrek without hesitation, but because we did Monsters, Inc. and I finally got to watch it, I, I hesitated a bit because I I really liked Monsters, Inc. I didn't, I think in my mind, I always thought I was stupid and I didn't see it. Why would but you now, think Monsters, Inc. is stupid? I don't know because Cars is trash and so it's just like one plus one, you know? Mm -hmm. Sorry, Nick. <laughs> I would, I, I too believe Cars is trash, so I'm not going to disagree, but no, but Monsters, Inc. is good. No, it's so it good. Fun. So good. So in our gaming systems, PlayStation 2 or Game Boy Advance? Game Boy Advance. I am a mobile gamer. I've always have been. I will more likely put a large amount of money in a mobile device than to play video games than any console. And Game Boy Advance was... <laughs> Like, it just threw it all. I played Golden Sun. I had a Mario Kart. I had Castlevania, literally, like, three different Castlevanias. I never put that Game Boy Advance down. That thing was, I burnt those, I burnt batteries and, like, <laughs> hours and hours. I remember being in science lab when I beat Golden Sun, not paying attention to the lecture whatsoever. So stoked that I finally beat this game. <laughs> I don't know what Golden Sun is. I'm sorry. It sounds like a shade of really awesome eyeshadow. Just it saying. It's just one of the best RPG games that you'll ever play. And when you say RPG, you mean role playing game. So like you know, like Final Fantasy VII. Oh, I like role playing. I just don't know if we're talking about the same thing. Didn't. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, ma'am. But. <laughs> So what, like, when the Switch came out, was that like... Oh, no. When I saw the Switch, I was just like... You, you mean you I can crazy. play it on the TV and like, you, in my hand? I was like, you crazy sons of bees did it. You really did it. You merged the two of them perfectly. I, I saw that and I was like... Ah! <laughs> I love my Switch. Okay, so I dug into the archives again there were some bangers in 2001 and so i mixed up the order and i want you guys i'm gonna list the name list a bunch of movies that came out in 2001 and i want you guys to guess which of these movies made it into the top five of the box office for that year you guys ready sure okay in no particular order the lord of the rings the fellowship of the ring Shrek, Monsters, Inc., Rush Hour 2, Ocean's Eleven, Planet of the Apes, Pearl Harbor, Jurassic Park 3, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, and our movie, The Mummy Returns. Can you guys pick out the movies that were in the top five? You don't have to do them in order. I'll be just impressed if you get the top five. Pearl Harbor, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Fellowship of the Ring, Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Rings. Uh, I, I believe Shrek and Monsters, Inc. Okay, Jackie? I'm probably going to mess this up, but I'm doing a Hail Mary. Okay. So I have 
Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Shrek, Pearl Harbor, and Rush Hour 2. Okay. Jackie was the closest. I'm going to read the top five in order. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the, of the Ring. Shrek was number three. Number four was Monsters, Inc. Number five was Rush Hour 2. Who would have thought it? Oof. I I did. I should have picked that. <laughs> and then in order after that, number six was Mummy, The Mummy Returns. Number seven was Pearl Harbor. Eight, Ocean's Eleven. Nine, Jurassic Park 3. And 10, Planet of the Apes, which was garbage. I'd rather sit in garbage than do that movie on the podcast. I like the the newer remake that they did. I think it was like Dawn of the Plenty of the Apes. Yeah, the one with James Franco. Yeah, yeah. like that one and the following one after that, the second movie is, like, I still watch it. But yeah. I'm surprised Pearl Harbor didn't make it up higher. I thought that was like such a big movie when it came out. I, it gave me Titanic vibes and I was like, I'm not doing this shit again. I don't yeah. like romance, mellow drama, historical bullshit. Like, I realize that's a genre I'm not a fan of. And I know that we have some people in our lives that we love very much that love Pearl Harbor. And I apologize, but it just wasn't my thing. No. And it was hard to, like, Kate Beckinsale, I, Josh Harnett looked so much younger I, it, in my mind at the time. It's kind of how I felt about Leonardo DiCaprio and Titanic. Like, I, I just felt like he looked a little bit young in comparison to Kate Winslet. But that's just my little opinion, so don't at me, bruh. <laughs> no, Leo, Leo did this thing where he looked very young until he looked old. Yeah, yes. he did not have a medium at all. No, mm -hmm. it just went boom, facial hair. You're just like, what the heck? He looks like my dad. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Sam, why don't you tell everybody your social handles so they can check out your podcast? My social handles are at 4 Mins on Twitter. It's 4 Mins, M-I-N-S. And at Sam the Host on Twitter. And as usual, you guys can follow us at No More Late Fees on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, and YouTube. And stay tuned for our Mummy Returns episode with Sam later this week. And as always, be kind and rewind.